Hi here, Finns here. I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be talking about Strictly Come Dancing 2019! Um, about the semi-final and we're going into the final very soon. Oh, in just a few hours time, it's like, it's going to be all over. We will know who the winner is. I'm very exciting. It's, it's, the series has gone so quick. Um, it's nearly over now. Um, yes. Um, it, it's gone so quick. It feels like it was August yesterday, really. Uh, but let's first of all talk about the semi-final. And, uh, spoiler, Chris and Karen was the next couple to leave the competition. But were they the right couple to leave? Yes. <laughs> no shade, no shade, no shade. I mean, he was very lucky to get that far of the competition. I think eh, after the show ended on Saturday, I think I we kind of, I well, I kind of knew that it was going to be Chris and Karen being out. Um, he did try his best. He, he, there were two uh, dances he, um, this week. Um, he did a waltz and um, uh, a rumba. And yeah, I, after them, I kind of knew he was going home. Um, they weren't terrible, it's just that he was competing. The other three couples were like great stallion horses and he was like a guinea pig compared to them <laughs> in the nicest possible way. Um, but no, he did try his best. And he was very lucky cause, to get that for the competition because he really did beat off quite a lot of good um, couples, I would say. Michelle Bazaar, Stefan Barker, even, even Alex Scott even. Um, so he should be very proud that he got as far as the semi-finals. Um, and you know what, he wasn't terrible. He, he did try his best, but I think compared to everybody else, he was, I think this is the furthest he can go. Um, but you know what, he really did go on a, one of these cliche Strictly journeys. I mean, compared to him getting 13 in week one to now, making all the way to semi-finals is quite incredible. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody else was getting nines and tens and he was getting um, seven, eights and sixes. I think Craig even gave him a four in the rumba. Okay, I know it's not the best rumba in the world, but a four, that's harsh. And everybody else gave it eights. Um, but yeah, but good for him. I, I like Chris. He was one of the names I was really looking forward to uh, when he was announced in August to do the show. Um, so yeah, I was really happy he took part. And he's a nice guy. And I think, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy he, he took part in the show. And he actually did go quite far in the competition. And he was very lucky to get that far. And he did some good dances. I'm, I'm happy he took part. And he's, he's, he's been really, uh, he's, it's been good to see. Um, so I'm happy took part. But now, we are in the final. Only three couples left. Gosh, so we've got Kelvin and Oti, Emma and Anton, and Karim and Amy. Who is going to lift that glitterable trophy? I have to say, uh, the semi-final, all three of those couples really, really sh shone. Shone? Shined, I shall say. Um, Let's talk about Kelvin and Oti's quick step. Oh my goodness me! I mean, that quick step was on point. The woodpecker, the oh, the the, the leg, everything was in place. Oh, those arms, those legs, those yes, that uh, tens all round. I would say forty. It was deserved the least, deserved of a forty, and he did get a forty. Um, so I was really happy. Um, yes, um, oh, and you know, yeah, that was my favourite dance of that night, I have to say. Yeah, and Emma did really well, her cha-cha-cha was good, her waltz was beautiful, and Karim, you know, and Amy, they did really good dances as well, um, you know, um, yeah, I think it was an American Smooth they did, it was really good. The Argentine Tango, uh, was, it's a very tricky dance too. Only two couples have done it this series, actually. Um, but they did it really well, and I'm happy for them. So now, only three couples miss. A big question on everybody's lips is, who is going to win and lift that glitterable trophy? Oh my gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. 
this this is this is a tight one. this is going to be a tough one to call I'd say I think this is going to be one of the most opened finals we've had in years even more opened than um, <laughs> last year everything's open got arms open legs open um, okay <laughs> where am I going with this no um, <laughs> everything is open <laughs> Um, but no, seriously though, this is a very open it's final. I could see any situation where any one of the three couples win. You know, you've got Kelvin and Oti, you know, a lot of women will want to make babies with him. <laughs> um, um, so they might pick up the phone and vote, you know, Emma and Tom, people who watch EastEnders will vote Emma and... The grannies who've watched Anton since series one will vote for him and be very happy he got to the final. And then you've got Karim and Amy and they might get like the children's vote, like the CBBC audience voting, the families voting. Um, it's, it is tight because, oh, it, it just depends on what dances they do in on the night and the running order and you know the scores from the judges it's going to be very tight it's very open because they've all got really their own fan bases in a way you know it's like a battle between Emmerdale, EastEnders and CBBC so it's a tight one it's very tight it's very tight and you know what if Kelvin and Oti do that some as that samba again like they did in week one then they're definitely gonna get a perfect 40 um, They'll probably be the second couple to do that with Danny Mac um, so yeah, and oh And if um, Krim and Amy do their jive and they're gonna get a perfect 40 um, oh, it, it, It's so hard. It's 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 really hard to call. I mean, Krim and Amy have been in the dance of twice, while Kevin Oti and um, Anton haven't. Oh my goodness! It just depends on the night. It really does depend on the night. But if I have to choose a winner right now, oh my goodness me! Um, I'm gonna have to say uh, uh, which one. Uh, uh, at the free, I am going to go for Kelvin and Oti because you know why there's a lot of love with Kelvin, you know, these middle-aged women that will vote for the show have fallen in love with him, the grannies will vote for him, the girls will vote for him, people who used to watch him on Emmerdale for a decade will vote for him. Yeah, um... And people who also love Oti, you know, Oti's been on the show for a few years, you know, there's a lot of love for Oti as well, which will help in his favour. Um, oh gosh, and also he was a late, it's incredible as well, because he was a late cover to the show and, you know, not, I mean, I didn't really have high expectations when he was like a late arrival, thinking, okay, this was the Emma Dale actor that is replacing Jamie Lang. Um, okay, let's see what we've got here. And then that Sam in week one is like, whoa, blew us all away. I mean, it became a big contender off the first live show. But that being said, you know, Anton, this is the first final in, since four years. Only his third final out of like, um, 17 series. It's, it's, it's gonna, and even, like, you know, Karim has still got a chance, you know. Okay, he's been doing the dance off, but... He's quite likeable, he's a nice guy, and you know, and he has, and that boy can dance, he's on point. It's so tight, but I think Kelvin and OT, I think, will win. And you know what, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't be mad if anyone of those three win, it is just gonna be, it, it's gonna be a tight, it is so tight, this final, it, it really is, it, it's a tough one to call, it's a tough one to call. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've got three dances. There's going to be a dance that the judges will pick, then I think it will be the show dance, and then it will be the dance that the couples themselves will pick. Um, but yeah, it, it's going to be, um, it's going to be a tight one. It really is. And obviously, um, um, we will also see the other celebrities go back on the dance floor 
um, this weekend, like they usually do, do a big massive group routine, which I'm always looking forward to. I'm very um, looking forward to see, and um, hopefully um, Will Bailey will obviously, hopefully, fingers crossed, will perform. Hopefully he's not too injured. Um, it, I've got my fingers crossed we'll see Will Bailey on that dance floor with Jeanette. Um, but anyway, um, comment down below who you think will win Strictly Come Dance in 2019. Like and subscribe this video and I will be back for more content very soon. Until then, have a great day people. Goodbye people, goodbye and keep on dancing. And Merry Christmas by the way. Bye.